One of your duties up there, sir, is to do crew Earth observation, which means you're supposed to photograph natural and human-made changes on Earth. Are, are you over the United States right now? Actually, Stephen, it looks like we're just off the coast of Georgia. And uh, when, I think when we started speaking, we were a little bit uh, west of Chicago. So we're moving right along, heading for uh, Brazil. Okay. Uh, now, uh, can you see the colors of the states uh, change like John King at CNN with his big board? Oh yes, when, you know, whenever there's a new primary, it's it's great to look out the window and see the uh, see the results. It's uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> um, hold on one second here. Um, let's see. Um, you were also a crew member of the Nemo yeah. Five, where you lived at the bottom of the sea in the Aquarius habitat for two weeks. Um, what do you have against the rest of humanity that you have to flee from us every so often? I think it's more that is what the rest of humanity has against me. I keep uh, getting sent away to these far off places. I'm trying not to take it personally. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got a great job for Eisman. Send him to the bottom of the ocean. If it's not far enough. Launch him into space. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you have hair when you took off for the space station and it just got ripped off by the G-forces? Or is that just to keep stuff out of the uh, ventilation system? I'll tell you, uh, Stephen, preparing for this job wasn't easy. And, uh, you know, it does strange things to you. Oh, by the way, is there any chance that we're not talking right now and that you're just imagining it because you're suffering from space madness? You know, every once in a while uh, you, you, uh, you start worried that that, uh, that, that uh, might be true. I've seen that happen in a lot of movies, but so far none of us have, uh, have seemed to be uh, afflicted by that. And, uh, uh, you know, you, but you never know when, when you're going to wake up and have something really strange happen up here. Do you ever uh, look over at, at one of the other astronauts and they're looking at you as if you're a big cartoon turkey leg? Actually, uh, you know, we, our third crewmate is Foghorn Leghorn, uh, so it, it does get a little awkward every once in a while. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, laughing in space looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> you could literally do a flip from laughter up there. But I'll take your cue, sure. should be an Olympic event. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. By the way, um, what did it feel like when they beamed you up? Did it tickle? You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just a doctor. I hate those uh, darn infernal machines. Thank you, Bones. <laughs> um, now, does the grand plan have to include a destination here? Is this all planning for an eventual leap to Mars? Yes, it is, uh, Stephen. Um, we, uh, we have a, a, on the drawing boards already, and we've already started working on our replacement for the space shuttle. And our new rocket is uh, going to be able to take us uh, first back to the moon within the next decade and then uh, on to Mars. And that's ultimately uh, what we're all striving towards. I hear Mars is great this time of year. Well, it, it, the southern part. Uh, it, it, the part. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Du -du 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 uh, when do you come home? Uh, that's a good question. Um, 
depending on, on uh, what my superiors think of this interview, it might be a long time. But I think uh, it's going to, uh, uh, by according to plan, uh, the space shuttle is uh, going to take off on the at the end of this month, the 31st of May, and uh, they'll be up with us two weeks. They're bringing up the Japanese laboratory module, which is the, going to be the biggest module so far on the space station, and uh, it's going to go right over here. And when we're done installing that, we come home on June 13th. Um, are, 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 how long have you been up there now? Uh, at this point, let's see, it's been uh, about uh, about almost, we're up closing in on two months. I'll have to count the, the ticks I made on the side of the wall here, the, the tick marks, but it's, it's just about two months. What effect has it had on your body? Well, uh, it, it, it's really interesting. Your body begins to adapt immediately once it gets into this new environment, and it's it's fantastic how flexible the body is. Uh, first, you have a large fluid shift. All the fluid comes up into your head because uh, your, your heart doesn't have to pump gravity to do that anymore. Uh, you grow, which is the main reason I took this job. I grew a, a whole inch. Uh, and uh, you uh, also, it, there, there are some bad effects. Your, your bones and muscles begin to um, begin to fade away a little bit, and we have uh, several different countermeasures which we uh, use to stop that from uh, being a problem when we get back. You grew a whole inch? That's right. So far, I'm, I'm uh, uh, you know, I started out at just over 5'4", and now I'm just over 5'5", five five. so I'm, I'm hoping by the time I, I come home, I can almost achieve normal height. Uh, now, will, will you stay that height when you come back, or do you compact again? Uh, as, uh, I was hoping you weren't going to remind me of that. Actually, the, unfortunately, uh, I do compact again. I go right back uh, to where I started. Well, it's, it, it's good to hear that at least something can make you grow an inch, because I get emails promising that all the time, and I don't believe any of them. Uh, sir, can you please hold up your wrist strong wrist, uh, uh, like by your shoulder, and I'll hold mine up too, like that, uh, out away from your body a little bit, to the side, to the side. That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. Perfect. That's just like that. Yeah. Okay. Jimmy, make the connect. <laughs> Jimmy, make the connection. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Stephen. Thank you. I just got it from space. I just got it from space. Well, Mr. Reisman, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, in closing, if any aliens are listening in, I just want to say I am totally with you. And I welcome our alien puppet masters. Hail Xenu! I'll make sure I tell them uh, that you said that, Stephen. They won't come looking for you. Don't worry. And, and, and if you see my financial advisor, Gorlock, up there, tell him to return my calls. The market is tanking. I, I know. I, I, I fired him last week. I, I know. I, I fired him last week. <laughs> well, sir, have a safe trip home. Uh, give our best to the other astronauts and cosmonauts in the space station with you. It's an honor to speak to you, an American hero, Garrett Reisman, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay strong. Be brave. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you to Cabrera Report Station. We are now resuming operational space-to-ground communications. Okay, station copies.